Let's go through a few technical notes here before we actually create a package in a K2 Cloud environment. You'll want to be logged in to the appropriate K2 Cloud environment that contains the application components you want to add to a package. Typically, that's a development environment, but it can also be a production environment. The URL to this environment can be obtained from your K2 administrator or operations team if you are not one of those individuals already. To use this app, you do need to be a member of the package and deployment role in K2. You need to have workflow export rights and smart object publish rights set for you, so be sure to add yourself or ask your administrator to add you if your role requires the ability to package your K2 solutions. There are also firewall considerations that your security team will need to be aware of. You can find more information on that in the K2 Cloud Package and Deploy topic from our cloud user guide at help.k2.com. In K2 Cloud, you can access the Package and Deployment app by appending the word remote to the management site's URL. This will actually launch the download of the Package and Deployment application for cloud that you can then save to a desired location on your local workstation. It is important to also note that your workstation must have the Microsoft Management Console 3.0 installed on it for K2 Cloud Package and Deployment to work. Once you have saved the app to your workstation and opened the executable, you will be authenticated with K2 then you will be presented with a drop-down list listing the environments that you can access. I'll select my environment here. In this topic, we want to create a K2 package that will contain our K2 artifacts. So from my screen, we can click on the Create New Package button. From this point, the process is pretty similar to packaging applications up in K2.5 on-premises as well. Doing this will launch the Create Package window. Let's edit the name of the package to make it more meaningful here and provide a description. Note this is optional though. Let's also make sure that the location is set to where we want the package file to be saved. And then click the next button to navigate to the add items page. This may take a few seconds to load in your environment. In this window, we want to select Smart Objects, Views, and Forms next, so we can click the Add Item button. The Package and Deployment application will connect to the K2 server and render a list of artifacts that can be packaged based on the category structure of this K2 environment. You can drill down into the category hierarchy and select the Smart Objects, Views, Forms, and Workflows that you want to include in your package. You can be selective here, or you can select a higher parent folder to grab everything within. I'll demonstrate with the leave request application. Before we move on, take notice of the type column for the list indicating what the artifacts are. If you select a view or smart object, you can see its properties in the properties data pane on the right. Actually, we have two things of note to talk about here. Notice the checkbox at the bottom of this window, which states automatically include dependent items as, with the options of included or referenced. If you are packaging this application up for another K2 environment, and let's say one of your views references a smart object that has lookup list data in it, such as regions or departments, that view has a dependency on that smart object, but it may not be in the list here. Your application needs that smart object to exist in the target environment you're deploying to, so you can either tell the package and deploy tool to include it physically and take it with the package, or make a reference to it because it already exists in the other environment. If you disable this checkbox, you will need to manually select dependency artifacts in the list above and tell K2 what to do with them individually. The other item to discuss is smart object data. The Package and Deploy tool can take existing data with SmartBox smart objects or just take the smart object definition over to the target environment. You can select a SmartBox smart object from the list, then on the right side of the window, inside the Data tab, put a check to include data if necessary. Be cautious when doing this as package files can get rather large depending on how much data you want to take. Also make a note that you can only include data if the smart object is a smart box smart object. Advanced smart objects do not allow for this capability. Once you've selected all the artifacts you need, you can click OK to add them to the package list 
and show the Create Package page with the selected artifacts. This may take a bit of time to bundle everything up at this stage, so I'll pause the video. Before finishing on this window, you will see the list showing each selected artifact with various properties and dependencies. You can choose to remove an artifact individually, you can remove any dependencies, or you can remove all the selections you've made if you need to start over. From here, you can click the Finish button to create and save the package. Then at this stage, you can locate your newly created package file and take it over to deploy in another K2 target environment.